if I would ask how many people watching right now who are in this class right now, how many of you have got a plan for tomorrow? If I ask you, like, uh, can we meet tomorrow? Do you have a schedule where you can go and check and see if you are free tomorrow or not? Beloved uh, Patrick, I can see you. Thanks for, thanks for coming. Janice Foster, I see you. Do you have a plan like when I call you right now and I tell you that, you know what? Tomorrow I'm having a party. Can you join my party? Do you have somewhere where you can go to look, even a calendar, to see whether you have a space for tomorrow? If you don't have it, success starts from a person who has got plans. You must have plans for you to succeed. Because finding yourself doing things without plan is where people mess up. People mess up because they do not have plans. People plan for them. Hey, tomorrow you know there's a birthday party for so and so. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, I will come. After tomorrow, the next day, there is a drinking spree in another person's house. Okay, I will come. After the next day, the next day, it is... You know, people are planning for you. You never have your own plans. My dear, even if you are so tight, get a place and write your plans. At least say that tomorrow from 7 a.m. until 5 or 4 or 3 a.m. I will be somewhere doing something. By 9 o'clock I should be doing something. You can only try to change your plans, but you must have a plan. Running, living without plans. Guys, a lot of ladies get pregnant because of not having plans. A lot of ladies get STIs because of not having plans. A lot of men get those STIs without, because of not having plans. And how does it happen? You've been invited into parties. A party that you don't even know who is going to come, what is going to happen in these parties, who you are going to meet in those parties, just because somebody is your friend and they have invited you into these parties. You go to a party. You know, last week I was with my mentor who was teaching very early in the morning and was talking about this young lady who had just graduated from, from high school, had just done finished his high school and was so humble, very disciplined, very respectful. And she went to her parents and she informed her parents that, you know what, mom, I've been invited for a party with my friends. Then the parents permitted her because she had finished her, her high school. And they found, they felt like, okay, let's release her to go and ease herself. This lady did not know, has never partied, never had plans, just got into some people's plans. What happened? The next day, this lady found herself sleeping in someone's house and all over her body are cements, men cements, you call them spams. She did not understand what happened. A very young lady was very disciplined. We cannot talk about whether she was a virgin or not, but she was a young lady who had taken care of herself, was disciplined, the society knew her, Everyone around knew her. The teachers appreciated her. She went for a party because she did not have a plan. It was planned for her. The next day in the morning, she woke up. She doesn't know where she is. In a small room, all over her body is men cements. Where do you start? These shits happen because of lack of plans. Guys, have a plan. Even if somebody is inviting, is inviting you somewhere, let your plan push you to avoid what you don't know. Let your plans push you, like tell them that, you know what, I have a plan, but uh, if what are you guys going to do? How long is it going to take? Your plan will help you to avoid a lot of things. Have a schedule, have a plan. Calendars. These smartphones have got a lot of things that can help you to have plans of your life. We are going to number five. I hope I'm not going deep. I hope I'm not terrifying people. I hope people are not, you know, trembling somewhere. But I'm just putting something in your ears so that it can help you 
to make sure that 2023 becomes a year you can celebrate when we are in such kind of a date, December next year. 